Hi everyone, today we are going to take a look at Google Keep. Okay, Google Keep is a really awesome little nugget in Google and you are going to love it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is click on the nine dots and you're gonna scroll down to Google Keep. If you don't have the icon in your nine dots, you're just gonna type in keep.google.com. Okay, so as you can see, it's just, uh, you can see one of my Google Keep note checklists here. And this is just a really great resource for students, for you, for really anything that you can think of. Um, I have a tendency to ask my students to create their rubrics in here. Um, they also will put different goals that they have that they're working on. Um, you could even ask them to do the steps of an equation or the scientific method or you know anything that you can think of. So to take a note, all you have to do is click and take a note. And then you can title it. So maybe it's today's agenda. And I'm going to type in do now. Um, research two articles. Actually, I'll do research article one and research article two. And then I'll say um, take notes. Okay, so here's my little list. And I'm gonna click on these three dots to show my checkboxes. So now it becomes a checklist. And you continue to, you can continue to edit it afterwards. Um, the great thing about this checklist is you can actually check the boxes and it shows you the completed items. And you can uncheck them if you need it to go back up. Um, another thing that's great about this is you can add a label. So I have my students create multiple checklists. So some will be annotations, some will be rubrics, some will be um, personal goals. So if I click add label, I can type in agenda. And there it is. So now when I click on agenda, it'll isolate that note for me. So it's not overwhelming. Okay, so I can also color code it. So maybe all my personal goal checklists are pink or all my, you know, um, rubric checklists are green. Okay, so that's a really great way to do it also. Um, you can also pin them. So if you notice, if I go back to notes, these are all my notes. I have this one pinned so that I remember that I can complete this. Okay, um, we can set reminders. We can share it with people. We can add an image. So if you want them to add like an image at the top that says rubrics, you can have them do that so it's easily identifiable. And you can archive it so it can get out of your queue down here. And there's a couple other things that you can add here. And um, we can delete it. You can add a drawing so it's like you can write on it. Um, and you can copy it to Google Docs. So what's great about copying it to Google Docs is unfortunately you can't share this in Google Classroom, but it's a really great thing. So if you're using this as a rubric, you can create it in here, copy it to Google Docs, and then kids can just copy and paste it right into Take a Note and hit Show Checkboxes and they can use it there. So here's a great question. Why would I wanna use this when I can just use my regular rubric in Google Classroom? So, yes, I totally agree with using the rubric in Google Classroom. It's the best thing ever. It makes grading super, super easy. But here's the difference. And I think working synonymously with them would be a good idea, or not uh, simultaneously, wrong word, <laughs> simultaneously with them would be a good idea. So if I click on Docs and I'm writing my paper or I'm writing my um, scientific uh, paper, or, or I forget what they're called, my science experiment analysis and so on, um, my lab report, Whew, there it is. All right, I have Google Keep right here. So I can click on it and I can access what I need to access here, okay? This is also available in Google Slides. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Google Keep. I'm gonna go into Google Slides. I'm gonna go to a new slide deck and there it is. It's also available in Google Sheets. I can click on here, go to Sheets, open a new sheet, and there it is. So students have access to this rubric across multiple platforms, and it makes it really easy for them to make a checklist, use your rubric items, 
identify personal goals and check them off as they go and so on. So Google Keep is a keeper.